Hello, today let's solve this limit. This problem is suggested by the audience, Philemon. I modify the original problem to this form, and let's get started. First, let's see the simple case. It's easy to verify. When a is 0, the limit equals 1. Next, let's see the non-trivial case. The denominator can be written in this way. After replace the denominator, we got here. Since the numerator and the denominator have the same power index, we can merge them together. Now we make a substitution. And we can solve for x squared. Note here, when x goes to infinity, t goes to 0. Plug in the substitution. I copy it here. Then we write the power function in this way. Because this function is continuous, we can put the limit inside the parentheses. To make it short, I define this term as function f. And we write the original problem in this way. As long as we found the limit for function f, then we are done. I copy it here. To find the limit for the function f is equivalent to find the limit of log f. So we take natural log on both sides. Then we put the power index out of the log function. We write it into a fraction. Next, we write the numerator in this way. The second term equals t. I copy them here. Now we take the limit on both sides. For the right-hand side, it's in the form of 0 over 0, so we can use L'Hopital's rule. And we got here. We simplify the numerator. t cancel out. So we got the limit for log f. I copy it here. Because the log function is continuous, we can put the limit inside the log function. Solve this equation and we got the limit for function f. Then we plug in here. So we got the limit when a is non-zero. Then we combine these two cases. So we got the final answer. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like.